My name is Osman Ali. I'm from originally from Somalia, and I made the first Somali museum here in Minnesota, which is the Somali Museum of Minnesota. And every year I travel back home just to collect some artifacts. And that's what I was doing for the last 10 years. In 2015, I traveled to Somalia in a small town called Hingalol. And that's where my, some of my family is living. When I travel back home, I travel to get more artifacts for the museum. At the same time, to visit some of my family members. When I traveled in 2015, what happened? When I went to Hingalol, eastern part of Somalia, I used to live in a house a little bit in a distance half a mile from the coffee house or the tea house. That's where I used to go every day when I'm there. I go one time in the morning and one time in the afternoon. On my way to the coffee house, while I was walking there, I found on my way something has been thrown to the garbage, something in the trash. I was kind of close to that item that I have seen there. I found there was an item, an artifact. It's thrown to the trash. And that item is called Dobi. What's Dobi? It's a milk container that they use it to preserve the milk in it. When I saw that crown container, I didn't take it or look at it very close. But I continued my way to the coffee house. When I get my tea and coffee, I start traveling back to my home. Walking, I went to where the trash area, just to look at it exactly what is it. In the trash area, I found something in the garbage. Then I said, this is one of the items that you are collecting. They threw it. But it's very value thing to me, very value item to me. Then I just went close to it. And a lot of dirty stuff was around <laughs> the item. I took it like this, looking around, <laughs> who's looking at me. And the idea there, someone came from America and the whole small town, they knew who am I. They said, this is the son of Muhammad Ali, came from America for 50 years in diaspora, collecting stuff from the trash. What happened to him? <laughs> there was an old woman watching me. And I said, what that woman need from you? She was staring at me and looking at me all the time. I took the thing and I walked all the way to my house. She was staring at me and following me. She's saying, this is Osman who came from America. Someone came from America. They think he's a rich guy. And they knew that I was for a long time there. She thought something wrong with me. 
And she followed me until I knocked my door. I gave it to my sister and my mom there, and I said, can you sanitize and clean this item for me? <coughs> they knew that I collect everything from anywhere. Then what happened, in the afternoon, I went back to the coffee house. Then the woman came again to my house and knocked the door. She said, Osman is here. They said, we went to the coffee house. Is he, he came from America, right? Yes, he came from America. Is he OK? <laughs> my mom said, said, yes, he's OK. But what happened? He was in the trash collecting all the stuff. <laughs> she said, that's his hobby now. <laughs> And whatever he sees, this item, he just collects. He doesn't care where did he get this stuff. Then she said, if that's the situation, this is called Dobi in Somali. Then she said, it has no lid. So can I help him? She said, what are you going to do for him? She said, I'm going to make a lid for him. OK, she took it, and she made this new lid for it. And she said, as long as he's OK and this is his hobby, I'm going to make this lid for him. And she did this. This was a valuable item for me. I never forget. It was a dead artifact that came back to life. And it has it's taken its journey from the trash in the small town called Hingalol to Minnesota. And it was in the display of the museum for the last five years. Thanks for listening to my story.